So RoboFlow Rapid just came out, and instead of spending hours labeling your data, you could deploy an object detection model in just a couple of minutes. So you can start off by choosing one of the default videos or upload your own. I'm going to choose this video right here. There's a purple button down here that says try with this video. It's going to take a couple of seconds to upload the video. Once it's done uploading, it's going to use SAM3 to allow you to enter a text that describes the object that you want. So in this case, we want to find the balloons. Now click find my object, it's going to start generating. You can see that it has found some balloons here. This is now where you have the option to adjust and play with the sensitivity in terms of how many balloons it detects. You can see that when you slide the slider all the way to the right, there's some parts that is considered noise that it's detecting, and if it's too far to the left, it won't detect anything. So you could play around with the slider to find the happy medium in terms of how many it detects. So you can see that when I slide it too far, it thinks the ball in the back is a balloon, which it's not. So most of the time when the slider is somewhere in the middle, it tends to do pretty well. Once you're pretty satisfied with the sensitivity, you could click on run on entire model. So this process will find all the, all the objects throughout this whole video. And you can see this is running in real time, so you could see the actual performance and speed it takes to generate this model. It's incredibly fast compared with previous object detection uh, training pipeline. And you can see that once it's done, it's able to detect most of the balloons here. You can see that some frames it tends to miss, so you could slide the slider a little bit more on to the right side, and you can see that it seems to be detecting it more frequently. But things like this, you could probably apply some filter to kind of smooth out the missed frames that we see here. Once you're satisfied with your model, you could come down here to publish and use model. So this will actually generate the code for you for you to use. There's a couple different options. You could click on this drop down, and depending on if you're using Python, JavaScript, or HTTP, in my case, for example, if I want to run a Python, it's really easy to get this up and running. You come here and do pip install inference sdk, and with just a few lines of code, you're able to run this model pretty much on anywhere you want.